Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have some all new Modern Farmhouse Dollar Tree DIYs. To start off, we are making that blessed sign. So I'm using these Dollar Tree items. I have a couple of moss sheets. You can use black or white poster board, but since I didn't have that, I'm using two cardboard pieces from Dollar Tree that I've been having for a really long time and I thought I'd use it just to get rid of them. So what I had to do to put them together to make the sign, I'm just using a couple of scrap pieces of wood. I'm going to add hot glue to combine the two. Um, you can use anything from craft sticks or if you have leftover scraps of paint sticks, you could use that too. Once that was done, when I added the moss sheets on top, that's when I noticed that you could kind of see through and see the pink and purple. So I decided to take it outside and just spray paint the center of it with my black matte spray paint. To frame the sign, I'm using these Home Depot paint sticks that I have been loving recently. Remember, they come three paint sticks in a pack for a dollar. So I'm going to measure out where I want this to go and that way I can cut it with my miter box and miter saw. Once I cut that piece, I'm going to measure the other side to do the same thing. And here is the miter box and saw that I'm using. They have a pack like this at Home Depot or Lowe's for $10. And lastly, I'm marking off those two pieces to cut off. I'm going to be using this antique wax to paint the frame and it's so funny because this whole time I have been doing YouTube this is my first time using it and I actually really like it so this bottle is about $11 at Walmart if you don't have it you don't have to use this you can use brown paint And now I'm just going to glue the frame into place. I'm cutting off the excess with my scissors and then I'm going to show you what I decided to do last minute to the sign which is completely optional. Here are some wooden shims that I bought in a huge pack from Home Depot. It came with I believe over 30 or 40 for under $5. So what I did was sand it down really good, cut it to size so it sits really nice in the middle of this and I'm going to just hot glue that down. After that, all I did was add this little Hobby Lobby sign that says blessed. Now, there are so many options you can add to this. It's up to you. I was even thinking of adding a little white floral wreath, which would look good too. Or maybe if you want to add a different sign. Also, you don't even have to add the wooden pieces in the center if you want a different look. This second DIY is probably my favorite out of all of them today. All three of these items right here are from Dollar Tree. I have a little candlestick a wreath charm, and a sink mat. Than... 
I already used one of these paint sticks for the first DIY, um, but I'm just showing you this comes in a three pack at Walmart for about $2.50, I believe. So I'm going to take one of them and we're going to use that antique wax to paint the candlestick. Now, if you want to do this, make sure you give it a good coat of white paint first and then add the antique wax and it will look sort of like a wooden candle holder. And once I was done with that, I did wipe the candlestick very lightly, just so it would dry quicker. Now I'm gonna take this matte black apple barrel paint and paint this recharm. Now I actually am using two of these recharms and I'll show you that once I put it all together. So paint two of these with some black paint or whatever paint you want. About two coats of that black paint will work just fine. So now what I'm gonna do is take the sink mat and I'm gonna wrap it around the recharm to see exactly how high I want it to go and then I will cut that off with my scissors. I'm using this Waverly White Chalk Paint, giving the top right here two coats, letting it dry in between each coat. Once that dries, I'm going to turn it around and just paint the other side with one coat. I have both of the recharms ready to go. Now I'm going to start off with one of them, adding a little bit of hot glue and start gluing that down to the base. And hold that down for several seconds to make sure it dries well. Once I hot glued the base about halfway on, I decided to go ahead and start adding the top reed charm. Now I can see that it's not going to wrap around fully, but that's actually a good thing because that will leave me a little bit of space to add my fairy lights. Lastly, I'm just going to hot glue down the faux wooden candle holder. So I stuck the fairy lights inside and left the battery pack out and I'm just going to turn it on and then I'll put the battery pack behind this little wicker basket. I've been traveling alone, but now there's you. Oh my god, you guys, I am obsessed. 
Again, there are so many options you can do with this. You can paint this different colors if you want, depending on where you want to put this at. Even for um, a little kid's bedroom, you can decide on different paint colors for that as well. For this last one, I'm using this Walmart cutting board that was under a dollar and we're going to use that matte black apple barrel paint to paint the whole thing. I'm only using it because you know that Dollar Tree does carry a two pack just like this. Well, it's a little bit more narrow uh, for a dollar of course, but I decided to use this one because I was already at Walmart and I saw it and I didn't want to have to make another trip to Dollar Tree. so. You can definitely use the Dollar Tree version. I'm going to use this Dollar Tree Sun Hat and I'm going to show you how I cut it so I can use a piece of it onto the cutting board. And now all I'm going to do is just add hot glue to connect the little basket. So the basket is really secure onto the cutting board. I add a lot of hot glue on the inside. I added a little bit of Hobby Lobby greenery and lastly just to complete the look of it I'm going to take part of the hat and add it to the handle of the cutting board. So this completes the look of that one. I love it because it was so simple and I just decided to add it to my wooden ladder. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave me a comment if you have any questions and I'll see you in the next video.